t-shirts over here. We only have smalls and mediums left. We've given out 250 t-shirts in the last week. So we're doing really good in that area. So just take some and the yard signs are for taking two. And all the uh, all the food is free. Unless you're a Democrat, I'm going to need $30 from you. They'll raise taxes. Uh, yeah. You want to keep me, you want to get me in office and keep me in office so we keep the price of oysters low. But listen, I want to thank Edisto Gumbo here playing for me yet again. We love these guys. They play great, don't they? I also want to thank, I want to thank South Carolina GOP for helping out the cost of this. I want to thank Woody from Booze Pops bringing a Booze Pops truck. All the proceeds from the, from the sales today go to my campaign. So uh, go over there and get what you need. You're going to love whatever you buy. But we're going to talk a little more later. I just wanted to thank all of y'all for coming. Please get t-shirts and grab yard signs and put them in your yard. Let's win this thing. I promise you nobody works harder. If he doesn't win, something's wrong. There's not a Republican that's running in Charleston County or Calden County that would tell you that I don't try to do my best to help you guys out because it comes back to me in droves. I, I've gotten help from the Speaker of the House. I've gotten help from Drew McKissick. Uh, Tim Scott has sent me a check. Uh, Lindsey Graham has sent me a check. Mace, uh, Nancy Mason sent me a check. So we've got a lot of support from the top. And sometimes that's what it takes is to work as a team to work. So I, I, to make things work. So I want to I want to be a teammate right now, and I want to bring in Scott Baring first. He's run, he's running a Eastern District Calden County Commission, and I want to I want to let you let him hear him what he has to say. He's known as the B Man. 
He's got the uh, basically the zoo in Calden County. You got a giraffe now, right? Two giraffes. I think he's got a sea turtle in the back of his truck. But anyway, I want to turn it over to Scott and let, let you hear from him, and then we're going to bring on another candidate. So listen, tonight is, is a celebration. It's a celebration. Edisto Beach is now in the 116th. That's a big deal, folks. That's a real, a real big reason why I'm having this today is because early on, the Speaker of the House, he asked me, he said, what, what can I do to help, Matt? What can I do to help you? Because you're running a good race. You've been running, you know, so long. <laughs> And I said, give me Edisto Beach because it's super red. And you might not realize this, but you have always been in the 121st. And that's a super blue district. Michael Rivers wins his races over there by 60%. He doesn't even have to put out yard signs because you're tied in with Buford and Port Royal and all those areas down there. I told the speaker, I said, please give me a soap beach. He said, you know, man, I can't promise you that. We're doing redistricting. I can't even comment on that. I don't want to be in court raising my hand saying I promised Matt Edisto Beach. <laughs> but I got Edisto Beach. Yeah! And I'm proud of that fact. No matter what happens, I'm winning this race. But no matter what I happen for the next 10 years, the folks on Edisto Beach have a chance for conservative representation in the state house. Yeah! I'm proud of that. I mean, that's an accomplishment. Before I even get sworn in, I've accomplished something. And I'm also fighting corruption. Because we have corruption right now. We got a state rep that's missed 299 votes. It's just not missing votes, folks. When you don't show up for work, you don't get to participate in the debate either. You don't get to stand up and say, well, my folks on Edisto Beach and my folks on Edisto Island, they feel this way about this topic. But if our, our representative's not there, we don't get our voice heard. They don't even hit, know how we feel down here. She's missed nearly 50% of the votes. I would love to tell you that there is that she has missed more votes than any state rep. But it's complicated to look through that. I'm not comfortable saying that yet. But I have not found a state rep that's missed more votes. And when she does show up to vote, she votes that men should play with little girls in sports. Yeah. Uh, that's not low country values. Yeah. She voted for the bill that paid MUSC to medicate four-year-olds for transgender procedures. No. Yeah. That's not low country values. That's not Edisto values. No. That's not what we believe in. Criminal. That's why I've been compelled to run. Because we are not represented in Columbia. And you folks deserve, you, you are worthy of any sacrifice that I make. I've been at this for 19 months. But you are worthy of that. And you are worthy of proper representation in Columbia. You're also worthy of an oyster roast and a low country ball. Yeah. And that's the reason we did it. But listen, when I won my primary, I won by 80%. There was only one candidate in the entire state that won his primary by a higher margin. That's due to you guys showing up and voting for me. But I was so upset, I almost demanded a recount. Because I don't like coming in second place. I was laying in the bed. I was so tired after the primary, I worked myself to exhaustion, basically. And the phone rang, and it was, it was wireless phone call, government phone call from Columbia. And I said, man, I, I better answer this one picked it up and I said, hello, it's Matt Lieber. On the other end, I said, well, this is Henry McMasters. And I said, the governor? He said, I am the governor of South Carolina. He said, Matthew, I need you to win that race in November. We're going to win this race in November. We are, this is a celebration because we know we are going to win this race. We are going to turn out 
We're going to bust those poles. It's going to be a higher margin than they expect. We're going to win this race. We're going to flip this seat that's been blue for 40 years, maybe longer. We don't know how long this seat's been blue. But it's about to be red like all these red t-shirts that I'm seeing all over the place. And you're going to get representation. You're all going to have my cell phone number. If you don't have it, come up and get my card. I don't have a burner phone. Call, uh, phone. I have my phone, my cell number. You're going to contact me and anything that happens that you care about. In the next two years, you're going to call me and I'm going to listen to what your concerns are. I'm already doing it. People already treat me like the incumbent. Because we don't have any representation. She won't answer the phone call. I'm answering the phone call. And I'm going to represent your values. I'm going to represent this place. This place is going to stay pristine the way we love it. We're going to get reinforcement of the beaches. We're going to take care of our infrastructure problems. We're going to, bigger, we're going to get a bigger piece of the pie out of Columbia to make sure we get everything that we need and what we deserve here. If you got a rep that won't show up for work, the, the Speaker of the House and the Governor aren't going to take them seriously when they ask for things. That's going to change in November. That's changing in 27, that's six days. Yeah. I get sworn in on November 14th that we're going to have an even bigger party. Yeah. I honestly love you people. I love Edisto Beach. I love Edisto Island. I love John's Island, Hollywood, Ravenel, Megan, Young's Island, and everything in between. I love my district. I have driven this to y'all see the yard signs that are everywhere on the roads? I put those out. And let me tell you, if you're if you're anybody on the other side that happened to be here tonight, I like to eat peanuts when I'm putting yard signs out. So if you have a peanut allergy, please take precaution when you're thieving on my signs. I want to be respectful and caring to all the people of this of this place my signs get missing y'all recognize it you see it when they grab them that's cowardice they're worried about me they're worried that i'm going to win because we are going to win my dad told me in 1980 when that morning happened and we saw that reagan won everybody was so excited everybody in the neighborhood was so excited and i was like dad what's happening what is going on he said, son, it's morning in America again. Yeah. 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 It's about to be morning in America in Edisto Beach again. Yeah. It's about to be morning again in Edisto Island again. Yeah. We're going to flip this seat. I love you guys. Eat all you can. I got like 10 more bushels. Let's go. Yeah. Let's have a good time. Yeah.